Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing good. Welcome to today's video. In this video, we'll explore one of the lab from mechanical engineering discipline. So I hope you have seen the previous video and right now you are very clear with the concept of virtual labs. So you can simply reach to this particular platform by typing the URL that is www.vlab.co.in. These labs are virtual labs. They are free to use. You just require system and internet connection. So we are over here on the main web page. Once you scroll it down, these are the broad areas in which virtual labs have been developed. Let us choose mechanical engineering. So as soon as we click on mechanical engineering, we have the list of labs in front of us. You can see the name of different labs and just corresponding to it, you can see the name of that particular institute which has developed it. So once you scroll it down, you have this metal forming virtual simulation lab by the Alberg Institute. We'll simply click on that. Now, After we click on that, we have this particular main home page for metal forming lab. Now we have various options. Let us see. So on the main web, on the main page, you can see the particular description about metal forming has been given. If you go for this home option, you have the motivational part, more theoretical knowledge about the metal forming, the applications, the steps of the forming process, everything has been described for the user over here. Then you have the equipments. Now you can choose the upsetting processes or the extrusion processes. Then you have this processes. Now you have the list of the processes. You can choose any one in which you want to visualize the particular concept. For example, I choose extrusion. I'll simply click on that. Now we are over here on the main home page of extrusion process. So you can see we have these two videos explaining about the extrusion process. And if you scroll it down, theoretical text have been given. And so with the help of certain examples, you can easily understand the concept of extrusion process. I'm simply scrolling it down. Everything has been mentioned. So it is developed in self-learning mode. So everything is being catered to the user. Now, once we are done with it, now we'll go for simulation bench. Now we have simulation bench for aluminum and for titanium. So let us go with aluminum. Now in this, we need to select certain parameters. So you can simply select these parameters. For example, the very first option, you have the extrusion, whether you want to perform it in a solid shaft or in a pipe, we'll choose solid shaft. Then we can choose a, simply choose a die angle. And we can say die with curvature. So all these parameters can be selected by you. Whatever the parameter you want to select, you can simply select those. Now, once you have selected all these parameters, simply press on the submit button. So as soon as you click on the submit button, according to your parameters, there's a visualization that is waiting for you. Now, let us see this particular video. In this video, you can see the extrusion process of the aluminum solid shaft with 50% reduction in the diameter of the billet. This process is hot extrusion process where different parameters are controlled on the basis of given specifications. So whatever the parameters you have entered according to it, there's a particular video. Now as a user, you can simply visualize the particular concept, what is happening. And also for theoretical text, you can refer to just below the video. So once this particular scenario goes into your physical labs or in your uh, classrooms, the faculty members, they tend to draw the things on the board. So sometimes we face difficulty in visualizing it, but with the help of virtual labs, we can easily visualize that particular concept you can see. Similarly, you can choose the other parameters and you can also go for a simulation bench for titanium as well. Now then we have the next option that is the comparative simulation. Now in this comparative simulation options, you'll find the three cases. Okay, so what it will do once you click on that, it will show you it will compare the two simulations. Okay, that will run simultaneously. For example, let us see the simulation for case one. Again, you have a video, you can simply tell the difference what is happening. If you play it out, you can simply visualize everything over here. Then comes the best part, the applications part. So we always tend to write the things this applications part in a theoretical uh, evaluation part but how that particular application or how this particular extrusion process is helpful in making a gold stick that is quite a tricky thing but again with the help of virtual labs you can simply understand that particular part as well so what I did I'll, I went for applications and I select gold stick 
Now you can see we have this particular video where each and every step would be clearly demonstrated to you. Let me just show you a glimpse. The video shows the manufacturing of golf stick using metal forming techniques. A typical golf consists of shaft and loft without. So you can simply refer to this particular video. You can simply go through the end and you will realize that, okay, these are the various steps by which we can make a golf stick. Then we have certain special cases. Now these are the certain cases in which you will see the various different shapes of mandrel are there. So there are 11 cases and these are the cases we are calling it special cases because these things are not quite easily available in the physical labs. But yes, with the help of virtual labs, you can easily visualize that particular thing. Last but not the least, we have the self check quiz. So as it is developed in self learning mode. So once you are done with it, you need to answer certain questions so that you could evaluate how much you have learned after performing it. For example, I'm just going to answer the first two questions. So for the very first question says, okay, which country has the maximum contribution in the worldwide forging industry? Okay, let me choose my option as Europe. Then the type of extrusion process involved in metal forming are, let us go with option A. Now oh, I'm only answering these two questions. You can simply answer the other questions as well. And at the bottom part, you can simply click on the submit button. So if your answer is, is right, it will say, okay, what is your answer and what is the correct answer? So if these two answers match, you can see my score is coming out to be two. Similarly, you can again go back to the main homepage. You can select the any different process you want to perform, you want to visualize. Then you can go for that application part. And similarly, you can perform this particular lab. Please do not forget to enable the Adobe Flash Player in your systems. So that was all for this particular video. Thank you. Thanks a lot.